Calvin, a lot of people don't understand it's such a complicated machine underneath that sheet metal. Yeah, there is. Um, one of the things we do with HPPO is front-end modules. Okay. And what they are is a module with a bunch of components put together, and we send that to Chrysler in what they call a sequence, just-in sequence. So as the car is coming down the line, our module will come in right with the right vehicle, with the right recipe, all put together, and then they assemble it in the vehicle. Um, so that's kind of what we do. And and you brought one for us to look we did. at. Okay, yeah. and what am I looking at here? So this is the front end module for the uh, the new Compass, uh -huh. so the Jeep Compass that was just launched earlier this year. Yep. And uh, so what we do here, this is uh, this is the module. Right. We assemble all of this in our plant in Toluca, which is right next door to the Chrysler plant. Okay. And the reason we need to be so close is because when we deliver the uh, the product to Chrysler, we need to be really close. We have anywhere from two to three hundred minutes by the time Chrysler says build this to when it has to go out and then they assemble it in their vehicle. So. Well, what, what are the various parts here I'm looking at? So, so it really is, so we have the, the bumper, the yep. crash bumper that's in there, we have the, uh, the radiator, air charger, cooler is in here. Um, this one particularly is a high end, it has the, uh, the radar unit for lane keep assist is in here, so active um, safety. We have some wire harness, we have horn. And then what all holds it together is this device called a carrier. So it's kind of the, the holder in the sense is that's what that puts everything together. And this is where we come in as a design company to help Chrysler integrate and design this um, to the most efficient. Light weighting is a big thing for us as well sure. to help them. And uh, we actually mold this in our own facility in, uh, in Puebla, actually. So that we ship it from Puebla out to Toluca and then... Um, we put all these parts together. Is this is this uh, going in as one unit or, or yes. separate parts? Nope. That's the advantage of, of uh, for the OEMs to have a module is that they put this in as one part. So it'll take anywhere from 35, 40 seconds for them to assemble this, a couple screws, and then it's all done. Um, Otherwise, they would have had to assemble the harness, they would have to assemble the radiator all going down the line at potentially different stations. So there's a, there's a save from the OEM on, on stations and operators and actually even the warehouse space because we store all these small components and they just have one. Let's go around and back for a second. Just take a look at the, how complicated this, this piece of uh, here is. Now, wow. And what do we have back here? So here's your radiator. Right. With your fan and right. the hoses that'll come in here. Um, we also have the uh, the prop ride for the hood. All of that's all put on to these. And uh, and again, here you get a better picture of the carrier. This one's actually plastic with metal as well. Right. right. Um, for the strength and uh, rigidity. Well, it's an amazing process. And as I say, most people have no idea uh, what happens inside an auto plant these days. And uh, Plus the fact that a lot of it is, is pre-assembled. Yeah. Uh, you know, what you do is uh, really uh, quick in the process of building cars. Exactly. I mean, that's the amazing part. Yeah. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, HBPO. What uh, exactly is the company? So we're a joint venture with uh, Hella Bear, which is now Mali, sure. and Plastic Omnium. So yep. we're a third of each. And uh, we came together in 1992 with uh, Hella and Volkswagen trying to put together a module. Mm -hmm. And then we've grown from there by adding Bear and then Plastic Omnium. And where we are today, we have uh, 25 facilities throughout the world and uh, all within 10 miles of the OEMs. And we're expanding rapidly in, uh, in, in North America as well. So we currently have uh, a plant in Puebla to support Volkswagen. We have a plant in San Jose Chiapa to support Audi. We'll have two new plants coming in Mexico next year. And then we also have our facility in Windsor, Canada to support uh, Chrysler as well. And then throughout Europe and Asia. Now that's a lot of jobs. And some of the people I, I talk to are very concerned that uh, the, the supply uh, of new employees uh, in engineering and so forth yes. is not what it should be. Is that true? Yeah, we do have a difficult time finding engineers, for sure. Our, our uh, engineering headquarters here, our headquarters in North America is actually in Troy, and we do. It's, it's always difficult to find new engineers and new people to support all this business that we're growing. So, yes, that is definitely a problem. Well, what, what part of the, the, uh, the industry would attract uh, young people? I mean, what, uh, what would be there for them? 
I think it's it's growth. I mean, everything with an automotive, and it's an exciting field. There's a lot of growth there. Um, there's changes all with the new new OEMs, the electric companies. We're doing a lot of work with uh, various EVs, and it's just it continues to grow. It's not just Ford, GM, and Chrysler anymore. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of growth, and uh, mm -hmm. there's new technology. So. Okay. Well, congratulations. It's a thank wonderful you. thing you do, and uh, thanks for the explanation. Oh, not a problem. Thank all you. All right. Okay. All right.